be here and I would down at Longhorn to get the finest steak they can make. Amen. 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 <coughs> because I found out a long time ago that I need him. He don't need me, but I need him. Amen. And I appreciate the Lord that he's given us another opportunity to come back and and just be used of him, Brother yes, Jeff. You know, that's all my desire is, just to move up closer to the Lord. Yes. Thank him because I know that he's real. I know that he's alive. I know that he's coming back. Yes. Brother David, he's coming back after a live church. He ain't coming yes. back after a bunch of dead chickens. He's coming back after some live eagles. That's what he's coming back after. And I thank God that you have... Uh, that I know who he is. I'm glad, Brother Sam, that uh, one day that I went down in his name and, I, and I've been changed ever since. And I thank God for the revelation of his mighty word. And yes. Brother David, I was thinking earlier about what you was talking about, uh, uh, about uh, my soul does magnify the Lord. That's what Paul said, didn't he? And, and I, I got to thinking, God gave me a message on that a long time ago, and I preached the word on that. How big do we make God? How big is your God in your life? And, and I was thinking, you know, David was a little man, probably a little fellow we say he was, uh, uh, but we know how big the giant was. The giant was nine foot tall and nine inches. Uh, uh, that's what he was. Wasn't he? But you know, David didn't look at that uh, uh, giant as a big, mighty giant. Uh, I believe that when David went down there to him, that he stood eyeball to eyeball. Don't you with him? Uh, I believe that David said, oh giant, you're not bigger than my God, uh, because I know what my God done on the backside of the desert. Uh, yeah. I know that he done slay the lion. Uh, I know that he done slay the bear. Uh, and he's going to deliver you into my hands. How big can we make God, church? Uh, uh, when, uh, when Moses and now come up to the sea, uh, uh, the children of Israel, they wanted to go back, didn't they? They always wanted to go back. Uh, uh, but what did Moses do? Moses stretched his rod uh, out over the sea. Could Moses make his God uh, uh, bigger than the seed that was in front of him. You know what we uh, have got to do, church? We've got storms and trials uh, in our life. We're going to have to make God bigger than the battles uh, uh, that we go through, David. We cannot come up to the storm uh, and say, well, I'm going to turn and go back because uh, and God has no pleasure in us. Uh, he wants us to see above the storm, don't he? Uh, he wants us to see through the storm. A uh, uh, church, we're not a servant of the little God. Uh, uh, we're serving a God that created the heavens uh, and the earth. Don't you want a God that we serve? Oh, when you love him, give him a hand, would you? I preached last night, my throat's kind of sore and raw and everything else. I've been fighting it for a week, but I want to give God everything I got. Don't you want to come out to the house of the Lord? Yes. I want to give him the best that I got because he don't he, he don't deserve nothing but the best. And I appreciate him tonight for being here. I really do appreciate seeing everybody in the house tonight. Some of you, as I know, and some I don't. But uh, if we can continue on in the Word, we all want to make it to heaven, and we will be together forevermore. So, if you have your Bibles and you want to read with me tonight, let's go to the Book of James, and we'll start. A, uh, we'll go to Chapter One, the Book of James, and we'll start at verse nineteen. Hallelujah. I don't know how long I preach. I don't know. I might preach 30 minutes or something. I don't know. But anyway, be much in prior course. Because of God. If God don't anoint us, we can't preach the word. That's what I'm always saying from day one. It takes the anointing to preach God's word in the time that we're in. And I, I told God many times, Lord, I don't want to preach nothing but your word. That's all I want to preach. But James chapter 1, verse 19. And the Bible says this Where am I, beloved brother? Let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to wrath. For the wrath of man worketh not the righteousness of God. Wherefore, lay apart all filthiness and superfluous of naughtiness, and receive with meekness the engrafted word, which is able to save your soul. That's right. <laughs> but be ye doers of the word, and not hearers only. Deceiving your own selves. If any man be a hearer of the word, and not a doer, he is likened to a man beholding his beholding his nat natural face in a glass. <clears throat> For he beholdeth himself and go his way, and straightway forget what matter of man he was. But whosoever looking into the perfect law of liberty and continue therein, 
he being not a forgiver here, but a doer of the word. This man shall be blessed in his deeds. Yes, sir. If any man among you seem to be religious and bridles not his tongue, but deceiveth his own heart, this man's religion is vain. Pure religion and undefiled before God and the Father is this, to visit the fatherless and widows in their affliction and to keep himself unspotted from the world. Right. Give the Lord a hand. You can be seated. This is where I want to preach to you, okay? Verse 25. And the Bible says this. Whosoever looketh into the perfect law of liberty. What was he talking about? He was talking about his word, wasn't he? And I thought, you know, uh, God's laid it on my heart just to take for a text for a little while tonight on the reflection of our identity. What we really look like. What we really are to be a looking at. And the reflection that we get, Brother Jeff, in the Word is something not to hurt us, not to tire us down. But it's always to build us up. Hey? <coughs> always to wash us and clean us in the Word. And I believe the Bible said that we are washed by the water, by the Word. That's didn't right. he not? That's what the Bible says. <laughs> but he said, look into the perfect law of liberty. That's what we need to focus on. Now, we done read a little bit earlier about looking into the natural glass. What was he talking about? Uh, Brother David, I, I, I've got a little demonstration I might use. I might, I might not. I don't know. It just depends on how if I get to it or not. Uh, but what he was talking about was looking into the natural mirror. And I don't believe that there's a soul in this building tonight that has not looked into the natural mirror today. I know we all look into it. If we don't, we don't know how clean her face is. We don't know if her hair is sticking up or what. But you know, Brother Sam, we have spent time looking into the natural thing and still the spiritual thing. And I believe that God uh, is a one His people. Don't you to look into the Word. I believe uh, uh, the Bible tells us that though the outward man perish, yet the inward man uh, he's renewed day by day. How is he renewed day by day? Uh, he's renewed by by looking into the Word of God. He's renewed by, by going to pray and seeking God, a spending time with God. That's what we need to be doing in the time that we're in. I believe the Bible teaches us how that the Samson, you know what, Samson got his eyes up on God, but he got himself in trouble, didn't he not? But you know what? A lot of times I find that when my flesh comes at me and tries to, to take me down, or tries to get me to do something different from the Word of God, I really know. I know I'm the first one that knows it. And I believe tonight that when we get out of the Word of God, if we got the Spirit of God, and God's going to let us know. And He's going to take us back to His Word and begin to show us where we went wrong at. But Brother Jeff, today, I believe the Bible said that they will come to you. And she called you, but in there are raving wars. You know, we're living in a generation in a time. Yeah, where the, where the devil, he knows the Word probably better than anybody that's sitting in, a, in the field of night. But one thing about it, he cannot live by the Word of God. I trust him now we've got a Word. We've got something that we can look into. And we can see where we stand there with God. And I know that we've got to have preachers and pastors, evangelists and prophets and all these. And we've got to have the powerful ministry to perfect us until we become what? Until we become mature in the Lord. But today is seems like that we got a lot of people they don't want you to preach uh, down where they're even at. Uh, but Brother Jeff, I begin to read in the Word of God. Uh, and I begin to see the Bible says uh, that men love darkness uh, uh, rather than light. Uh, uh, why? Because he said their deeds are evil. Uh, uh, tonight we can look across America uh, and we can see why so many people, uh, they don't want to go out to the house of God uh, because uh, their deeds are evil. Uh, because they'll pray somebody uh, and might stand up and preach a word. Uh, and we'll tell them where they at. But you know what we need to do? We need to buckle down and say, God, give me one good washing. The Bible said that we're washed by the water, by the word. That's what the Bible says. But the Bible tells me that that speaks not according to the word. 
that have no light in them. So don't be surprised because if they're not speaking according to the word that they're fighting against his name, saying that his name is wrong, they don't have the light, Brother Sam. What light am I talking about? I'm talking about the Holy Ghost that come back on the day of Pentecost. That's the light that needs to be in our churches today across this country. And men love darkness rather than light. The Bible says if they speak not according to the word, it's not because they don't understand it. It's because they don't have no light in them. The light is the, is the Lord Jesus Christ. He said, I am the light of the world. He said, I go away and now you are the light. A church tonight, I believe that God is wanting his people to believe in his word. I believe that he's wanting us to look into the word and see where we stand at. We may know the word from Genesis throughout Revelation. But if we don't live and if we don't come out from among the world, he said, put on the Lord Jesus Christ and keep yourself unspotted from the world. Ain't that what the Bible says? And that's what my Bible says. But you know what the world is doing? And the world is loving their own. And they're doing everything against the Word of God. And when they come out to the house of God, and they want to be recognized, and they'll shout, they'll speak in tongues, and they'll do everything else, but they'll go back out, outside of where the world is, and they'll begin to live, and they begin to speak everything and if the devil tells them uh, what's wrong uh, what's wrong with the churches today uh, they're not looking into the word of God brother David uh, and they're not giving God the time that he needs the reflection of our identity we worried about what we look like in the flesh too much uh -huh. We're worried about if every hair is in place. Come on. We're worried about if we're going to look good when we go for a job interview. But my Bible tells me uh, to look into the perfect law of liberty. That's what I want to look like, don't you? I believe that God has got a church uh, that He's filled with His Word, don't you? Uh, that's going to stand upon His Word. They're not going to worry about uh, what somebody may think or what they may say. Uh, we're not worried about what they may do. Uh, but we know one thing, uh, that our mind is made up that we're going to go all the way. I uh, thank God tonight because His Word. Uh, it gives me strength. It gives me something I can stand on. Uh, and come against the devil when he's coming at us. The church tonight, we better know the word of God better than anything else. I begin to thank you, know, Lord. We want to look good. Yeah, we want to look good in the natural. But what's wrong looking like the word? And that's what God is interested in more than anything. He wants us to look like the word. And yeah, we might have the outside to look good. It may look just like the Bible says. But what about the inside? And that's what God is looking at. Too. And not only on the outside, but you look at what's on the inside. I pick up your Bible, begin to read in Galatians 5. I start about verse 19. And you'll find out what you need to look like and what you not need to look like. I tell you, Brother Jeff, today, America's being deceived with so many false prophets. They don't know what the Word says. They won't look into the Word and see what really is going on. But give me a man that's been full of the Holy Holy Ghost uh, that's been called out, uh, that's been baptized in his name. Yes. Uh, that's the one I need to tell me uh, what I'm going to have, Brother David. Uh, but the America they're looking for uh, somebody uh, that's a standing with the leather suit on, uh, that don't know the left hand from the right, uh, trying to tell somebody else what to do. Uh, but you know what? Uh, I thank God for the Holy Ghost. Uh, the devil may think uh, that he's got God's people food. No, he don't. Uh, he don't have the church. Uh, uh, this food that's built by the word of God uh, that's been born again of the water and of the spirit a uh, church tonight uh, we're one of them uh, we better stand up today and let the devil know uh, that we're not going to back down uh, for the kept people knows who we are uh, they know if we got the goods or not uh, when Peter went out uh, they, you think they didn't know Peter uh, they said Peter you're one of them uh, how do you know it's your speech betrays you uh, but this preacher generation today uh, they want to talk about what they seen down at Walmart. Uh, they want to talk about another man's wife. Uh, but the world clock after them kind of preachers. Uh, they give me somebody uh, that knows what they look like in God. Uh, we're worried about the flesh. But we're not worried about the spirit. Amen. Come on. Come on. Come on. You know what? <coughs> and Brother David, we're worried about what we look like in this. 
If I looked at you and I told you, I said, David, you got a ponytail, what would you tell me? What would you tell me? You look at me and say, you've lost your mind, wasn't you? Why? Because he's seen it himself. He's seen it for his own self. Right. But you know what we're doing? Uh, we're believing everything the devil tells us. Uh, we're, the devil's telling us that we got uh, a cancer, but we uh, uh, you know what we need to do? Uh, uh, we need to say, devil, I know that by his stripes I'm healed. Uh, uh, when he went out on the walk, you know what he done? Uh, he kept on the walk for uh, uh, Because he must have been looking like the word, Brother Sam. Uh, or it would have never took on out of here. Uh, that lets me know I've got a long way to go. Uh, I don't want to be somebody uh, that's something here. Uh, and then in Chapman's feel something else. Uh, I serve a God. And they said, my eyes, they run to and fro. Throughout the whole world. He said, what's spoken in darkness is going to be heard in the light. And that which you have spoken in the ear in the closet is going to be shouted on the housetop. And that's the God that we need. And that's the God that a work can need. A work that fell away from the real world. And they used to look back. And the world, but now you know what they look like. And they look like Hollywood. And they just as much Hollywood. In our churches as they are in Hollywood. Yeah. Hollywood makes actors and not the church. And the church is built upon the word. Upon his name, Brother Dewey. But you know what? When Hananias and Sapphire, and they stood before the before Peter. And they didn't have it hid from the man of God, you think. And then God's preaching on all the spirits. And they come to kiss and we better believe that we know. Because these men stood up and said, You didn't lie to me. But you lied to the Holy Ghost. Oh, and they oh, talk down dead. Yeah. And these men look like the word. And they hear from somebody. And they used to have the Holy Ghost. And you might say, Preacher, can I have the Holy Ghost and lie? And you sure can. Oh, yeah. You can oh, sure have her. And the eyes of Sapphire stood before the men of God. Yes. And they said, Did you sell the land for so much? They were supposed to write it all down at the apostles' feet. But they kept back part of it. We were the preaching last night. And God wants it all. He don't want just a little bit. He wants all of us. I can't live a long life here. And they go down the road and live another life. A church house of a God that knows everything. He hears everything. He sees everything that we do. And the Bible says this, and that the Word of God is quick and powerful, and sharper than any two-edged sword. And you know what it'll do? It'll cut to the bottom and soul, in the spirit, in the joy. And Brother Sam, it's the only thing I know and that can go all the way to the pond and never leave a scar. And what a God that we serve and church tonight. He wants you to look like the Word. He don't want us to look like something that we're not. And we've got so much going on today. And yet they act like you love the Lord. But when they go down the road, and they're up tonight to another man's wife or another woman's husband. But they say, I've got the Holy Ghost. And what I tell you all, my Bible tells me and that's committing adultery. A lot of people, and they're doing things on the inside. But guess what? The Almighty God sees everything. He knows my uprising. He knows my down setting, my thoughts upon all. He knows everything that they are about you and I. Amen. Amen. A reflection of our identity. Hallelujah. Ask yourself what you look like. Come on. What do you want to look like? <coughs> the disciples, they went out and they preached the word of God. They preached just like God said to did. They preached it line upon line and precept upon precept. They preached the word of God. They couldn't help it because uh, uh, they didn't write the book. Uh, uh, they just preached it, didn't they not? Uh, uh, we didn't write the book. We've just been called to preach it. Uh, uh, but thank God tonight uh, that somebody's going to look like the word. Uh, uh, when old Peter, James, and John uh, uh, went down to the town of preaching the word of God, uh, uh, they knew that God was on their side. Uh, uh, they knew that God was going to move uh, uh, because they wasn't running down to the bar room uh, uh, on the weekend of having a party. Uh, uh, you know where they was at. And they were on their knees to pray and seek God. And what's wrong with America today? And they have lost their vision. And they want us to please man. And the church tonight, I didn't come to please nobody. But my Lord and my Savior, I come to give you a word tonight. And that will help you to make it through. Oh. I'm going to pray my case. 
Brother Jan, we're going to have a preacher that will stand up and tell us that's all right. Come on in and pay your tithes. Now do you pray it? Something like a certain man, a certain priest, when they left the city gone, there lay a little man in the ditch and needed somebody to help him. There's somebody that needs a word today. We better be on fire for God. And the Bible said there will come another, probably another big name preacher. I probably stood up and told him, you didn't have to pray. You don't have to speak in tongues. You don't have to believe in his name. Let me pray for you. But you know what? Here come a certain little man, a good little Samaritan. It was probably just an old Holy Ghost, a film Jesus name preacher that was run down. But you know what? When he went down the street, he looked over and he seen somebody that needed help. A church tonight, these people that need help. I can't help it if you don't like me or not. But I'm going to obey God. And God said we need to look at the Word. Brother Sam, I'm going to look at the Word. I'm going to be saved someday. We better clean ourselves up. We better make sure that our spirit is right with God. We better say, God, put me in that bathtub. And take your Word and scrub me. Get everything out of me that's not like Him. Brother Jeff, I want to be clean, don't you? The Bible said that we're washed by the water. And by the and that's the only thing I know that's going to get us out of here at the Word of God. I'll be born again of the water and all the Spirit. But you know what's going on? We want somebody to pat us on the back and say, it's all right. You can go to the next town. I pick you up. I pick you up somebody. I take them out of town with you. I know that ain't no right. And we serve a God. And that's got his eyes on us. And we're professing to be the saints of God. And we better be a living like the word. And we better be a dressing like the word. And we better be a smelling like the word. And we better be a talking like the word. And the devil don't like us because and then we're talking like the word. He think he don't know. And then if we ain't living by the word of the hunt. He knows. Yes. He knows if we're real or not. Yes, he knows if we're genuine or not. He ain't worried about them so called too much. He knows he's done God. About the church that's been purchased by his name. That's a looking into the word. That's a pattern of self after the word day in and day out. That's the one that he's after. A church tonight. And we better know that we got God in our life. And we better look into the perfect law of liberty every day. And the Bible said though the outward man perish and yet the inner man is renewed a day by day yes, no. we better be getting our face in the word of God finding out where we're standing out with God you better not be the thing that you hear you better know what that preacher to preach to yes, you no. if he's a preacher to you the Jesus name what a baptism is right you better obey that man if he tells you that you can't cross a little bit here you can't drink a little bit and party they go to church on Sunday morning. Uh, you better listen to him. Uh, you might say, preach all these people are doing that. Uh, you'll be surprised if they're doing that. Amen. You'll be surprised who's Amen. going out to the house of God on uh, a Sunday night uh, and Wednesdays whenever it is. Uh, then when they leave their home, uh, uh, going out of town on their job, uh, that they ain't picking them up a prostitute. Uh, uh, you'll be surprised, church. Uh, uh, you better not fall. Uh, you better not fall after just any old thing. Uh, uh, you better pick up your Bible begin to read and begin to look into that perfect law of liberty and see what they're telling us or not and why you think that Peter, James and all the apostles was hated because they kept their place in the word of God and they knew the word of God and brother David why you think the devil's after you it's not because your name is what it is but it's who the name that we stand for and that's what we don't like you don't like it name I know what his name is, don't you? I know what my God's name is. I know that his name is Jesus Christ. Brother and Jeff, the devil's done come too late uh, to try to give me another revelation of what he is uh, or who he was. I know that he was uh, a Jesus in the beginning uh, and he's Jesus today. They even one Lord, uh, the one faith and one baptism church. Uh, and we better know uh, the God that we serve. Uh, and we better know that we've got the one uh, that rode back to water for uh, uh, Moses and all the rest of the children of Israel. Uh, and because we better look at uh, 
to the perfect law of liberty. And we better find out where we stand. Brother Sam, I know you'll probably tell me the truth, but I can't go on that only. I've got to know for myself. Because when I stand before the great, and the great I am, I want to know that my, that my name is written down on you. There ain't going to be no a second chance church. We ain't got the one shot at this thing. We better make sure that it's right. We better keep our face buried in the Word of God. Say, Lord, help me to look like you were. Help me, Lord, to speak like you were. And stand upon each word. Because I done laid in the book. And that everything else is going to pass away. But his word is going to abide forever. And that's where the church is at. The church is in him. It ain't in Hollywood. But it's in the word of God. And that's where we need to keep our face at. In the word. Yes. The reflection of your identity is what the Word says. We've got so many that's worried about what the flesh looks like. But the flesh will take us to hell. Sure, the flesh don't want to, it don't want to get down where the rubber meets the road. Brother Jeff, my flesh didn't feel like coming to church tonight, but I had to override my flesh. I had to tell my flesh, no flesh, you ain't going to cause me to sit and be like the five virgins that was foolish, or they slumbered and slept, and there was going to be a cry made, and the ones that didn't have oil in their lamp, and they was going to be left, they was going to be left behind. What do you think about today? People think that they can get what they need on TV? Well, I'm going to tell you something. You'll never get the very and that the word tells you and I turn on all these big name preachers because I tell you son they may preach a little bit but you want to come right now and the word of rubber meets the road and they will not tell you exactly like Peter and James and John did no sir and that's why we're hated and that's why the we can't hardly get in all these churches today and because they want to hang signs on your back and say you was this and that but we I've got news for the devil. And when God saved me, he cast my sins into the sea. And I'll remember no more. And the way out of the night, that you 
over there on hold. And you can say, Satan, it is written. If God be for me, who can be against me? He said, there's no weapon that's formed against you that shall prosper. But the now we need to look into the perfect law of liberty and say, God, help me to look like the Word wants me to look like. Help me to walk that bright and holy before you. Yes. Hallelujah. The Bible said that he's coming after a glorious church. That's didn't what it he? says. That's right. He's coming after a glorious church. Without a spot or a blemish or a wrinkle or any such thing. Uh-huh. That it should be holy. Uh-huh. Did That right. it should be holy. Yeah. Yeah. That's the part they don't like, Brother David. Yeah. They can look good on the outside, yeah. Come on. They can appear before the <coughs> boy on the outside look good. Uh-huh. But what's on the inside? You know, uh, uh, that's where, uh, that, that's where it's going to count at. What's in there uh, is going to come on the outside. Uh, if I'm clean on the inside, uh, I'm going to be clean on the outside. Uh, if I'm clean on the inside, uh, uh, my spirit's going to be clean. Uh, uh, I'm going to love. I'm going to have joy and peace. Uh, I'm going to have long suffering, gentleness, uh, uh, goodness, and faith, and meekness, and temper. Uh, uh, that's what God is expecting the church to have. Uh, uh, we better have them in our life, I tell you. Yes. You might say, preacher, do you have them all? I'm a praying that, uh, that God will help me uh, to get my old flesh on subjection. Uh, he wants to rebel against the Word of God. Uh, when somebody uh, uh, come tap me, uh, when they bug me, Brother Sam, uh, you think my flesh don't want to rise up uh, and be like old Peter, take the sword uh, and cut their head off. Uh, but you know what? Uh, I done read in the book with Peter about converted. Uh, he never done that again. Uh, what was it? Uh, he got the whole Holy Ghost. Uh, that's what we got to have, the Holy yeah, Ghost. Uh, and the world will save the day uh, that you don't have to have. Uh, well, I beg your pardon. Uh, you better hope that you got it. Uh, when they plant you out on side the hill, uh, if you're here when the rapture comes, uh, you better hope that you got it. Uh, we'll come back on the day of Pentecost. Uh, you better not be uh, believing that stiff neck, hard, uncircumcised preacher. Yeah. They'll tell you anything to get you to fill up their pews. Yeah. They'll tell you anything. They'll tell you you're all right and everything else. And as long as you just come to their church uh, and put in the tithes and the offering, that's all they're worried about. Uh, they ain't worried about your soul. Uh, and all they're worried about uh, is uh, getting a bigger number uh, than the church down the road. Uh, but give me somebody who uh, will stand and preach the word, uh, a preacher with a great anointing. Uh, that's what it's going to take to get, uh, get America back on track. Uh, it's going to take anointing from God. Uh, Brother Sam, I'm not going to have that anointing uh, if I'm a waste of my time every day. Uh, down at the Walmart, if I'm running up and down the highway, I'm only giving God no time, and expect God to move in my life, I ain't doing nothing but to save my own self, and we gotta get along with God, before I can love you, I've got to love him, don't I, and because the Bible said, if I can't love my brother whom I have seen, how am I gonna love God who I have not seen, when I get my face in the Word, I begin looking like the Word, and brother day when we can love our enemy, we can love them that persecute us yes. and talk about us and run us down and God bless our soul and when Stephen lay down and they were just stoning him and his wife was leaving his body and you know what he did? He didn't say let me get up, I'll show you what I do he looked into the heavens yes. and he said Father forgive them for they know not what they do and tell me he didn't look like the word he looked just like Jesus did didn't he and that's the very word that Jesus said and when he was on the cross he said, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. But it ain't a funny that the day somebody can hit us and it don't take us a second we're ready. The box in my back and that lets me know where I need to be at. And that lets me know that my flesh is out of subjection with God's Word. Right. The Word of God, the Spirit of God, it will help us to look back to Word. Uh-huh. It will cause us to be just like Him. He's coming back after a church that he built with his word. He's not coming back after a church uh, that's like the world. No, sir. Uh, the word is what he's coming back after. Uh, that's what I want. Don't you? I don't understand it all. Uh, I may not know it all, but one thing I do know, uh, I know that my God is real. I know that he's alive forevermore. Uh, I know that he's coming back, Brother David, uh, and I can look around and I can see that it's not going to be very long. Uh, he's coming back for a church uh, that's looking like the word. Uh, his bride is going to looks just like the Word. You want to know what His bride looks like? Begin to get in the Word of God. Begin to study the Word of God and you'll see what the bride 
Sam is going to look back. And Brother Sam, I know that God is real. And I know that he's got a real church that loves him. And it's going to stand upon his word. A word that anybody else does or not. I've got to make it, don't you? I've got to know that I've got to make it, Brother Jim. If the world don't want to go, I've got to go anyway. If my dad don't want to go, I've got to go anyway. And that's what God wants us to do. He wants us to love him more than anything. And put him first in our life. A church tonight, if we don't know who he is, we better be a fine name. We better get a hold of him and hold on like never before. And when my flesh rises up, I've got to go back to the Word and find out what the problem is. I guarantee when you find it, you'll say, well, Lord, help me. If you've been begotten by the Word, a church tonight, we want the flesh to dominate us. We're looking into the wrong glass. But I want to look into the Word of God, don't you? I want my spirit to be right. And Brother Sam, I've got to have the right attitude. I tell you, because we serve a God, and that He hears every little thing. He knows every little Paul that comes into our mind. He knows everything that we do. He knows every motive that I use against you. And yes, sir, He does. And that's why we got to look into the Word and keep our spirit right with God. And we cannot walk after the flesh. And because if we walk after the flesh, we'll end up in hell. Yeah, man. Sure, we lost one. Give him a hand, would you? The perfect law of The reflection of our identity is the Word of God. That's what. That's what we better look like. Well, Jeff, I ain't worried about too much about my gray hair and stuff. I ain't worried about that. I ain't worried about looking, looking like Hollywood. No, I'm not. I'm worried about looking like Jesus wants me to look like, ain't you? Amen. That's what I'm going to look like. I want my spirit. God dealt with me. I want my attitude to be right. I want my spirit. I want my conduct to be right. I want everything about me to be acceptable in the eyes of God. And Brother Jeff, I can't call you up and cuss you out and go to church house on Sunday night and shout my shoe heels off. No, sir. That ain't going to work. We serve a God that knows everything. And when he sends his word, you know what happens? The biggest majority of folk, they'll get up and they'll walk out the door. What's wrong? That lets me know how much they love God. Because the Bible tells me that he was the word made flesh was it not if we don't eat of his flesh and drink of his blood we're not going to go no words but we are feet ain't going to leave the ground but I want to be able to stand for him in his time that we in and I want to be a vessel that he can use and we want to be used to God but we want to hold on to the world with one hand and hold on to God with the other hand that will not work that will not get it and that will not cause us to have anointing in our life all that will do is cause us to be miserable and it cause us to be rebellious. It causes us to want to lay out of church. But we got to let go of the world and say, God, I'm all yours. And I'll guarantee you one thing. If you'll do that, you'll see a difference in your life. You'll see your prayer not begin to change. America thinks that they can make it without praying. I can remember one time that my father-in-law told me, he said, if you'll pray, you'll never backslide. And Brother Sam, that is the truth. If we'll pray and seek God, we can stand the ground with the devil. I'm not saying that you have to jump 10 feet high every time you pray. When you go to your closet, begin to pour your heart out to God. And God will give you strength to be an overcomer. Then the Bible says that men ought to always pray and not faint. We can't let the devil get us down because my prayer didn't go no higher than my head today. And that ain't going to stop me, Brother Jeff. I'm going to go back tomorrow. And I'm going to pray again. If we don't move tomorrow, I'm going back the next day to pray again. Because the Bible tells me that men are to always pray and not panic. A life was a praying man, wasn't he? Yes, he was. Jesus was a praying man, wasn't he? He'd tell him to sit here and I'm going to go and pray. He'd come back and guess what? There they'd be asleep. Ain't it funny how a lot of people today, they can't even do a 30 minute preaching. They can't on hardly even do a 30 minute sermon because the flesh is so weak. The flesh is a stubborn for a Big Mac down at McDonald's. The flesh is a want a Pepsi from McDonald's. What's wrong? That lets me know that where we, our mind is at. We need to get our mind in the Word of God before that we're going to see the dead was casted out and the sick killed and maybe even the dead lay. 
praise. Oh, we're going to have to look back to word. Oh, we're going to have to get our spirit out with God. And say, Lord, here am I. Take me and use me for your glory. And I hear the brother talking about Gideon. You know what? Gideon, God couldn't deliver all the enemies into Gideon's hand because he had too many. And they said that, well, we had done it ourselves. And God wants us to get along with him. And whatever God does in our life, he wants the glory from it, don't he? If God gives you, Brother Jeff, to raise the dead, you don't get that glory. And you need to say, God, the glory belongs to you. And God used you to cast out devils. And give God the glory. A church man is corrupt with the word of God. And we find ourselves set up higher than what God is. And God can't use us. And whatever God does in our life, He gets the glory for it. Don't he? He's the one that gets the glory. <coughs> I might not be able to preach like Ari West. I may not be able to preach like Shambach, but I'm going to preach the way God wants me to preach, don't you? I want to live my life for God today. And now is the day of salvation. Don't put off tomorrow what you can do today. You might say, preacher, you don't know the battle that I'm up against, but I've done read it in the Word. The Word God should put me first, and everything else would be added unto you. And the day that you seek me with your whole heart, there I'll be found with you. We'll go and pray. We'll drag our problem to the altar. And when we leave, we'll drag it right back out the door. And that lets me know how much faith that we have in our God. And that we pray to. The church, listen to me. We serve a God that's able to do everything that we ask Him to do. And the Bible said He's able to do exceedingly abundantly above that which we ask or think. It's according to the power that's working in us. Brother Sam, if our mind is not in the Word of God. Are we not going to receive nothing before I can go down to the bank and get a hundred dollars? I'm going to have a hundred dollar deposit, don't I? And we'll come out to the house of God. And we spend all week running up and down the road. And we'll take time out to see where we stand with God. And we wouldn't read His Word. And we wouldn't pray. And we won't push the play back. But we expect God to raise the dead. And we expect God to use us. And the cast out devils. Oh. I'm going to tell you the problem. But there's too much flesh. And there's too much Adam man in us. Yes. But we got to get Adam out of the way. No. We got to get Adam. Oh. We were lost in Adam. But thank God no. for somebody that said we must buy the image of the heavenly one. Oh, what are you talking about, preacher? Oh, we borrowed the image of Adam. Oh, we look just like him. Oh. Oh, we got two ears, two eyes. Oh, we got two hands to be. It looked just like Adam did. Oh, but what about looking like oh, the one that he told us to look like? Yes. Oh, we borrowed the image of the earth. Oh, we shall also bear oh, the image of what? Oh, the heavenly one. Oh. Oh, what are you talking about? I'm not talking about the word of God. And that's what we need to look like today. And we need to look like his word. Amen. 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 He ain't coming back after church. Lord. And that's got the world hanging all over him. Amen. He coming back after church just to cuss him a little bit here. I find a little bit tired. He's coming back after a bride. And that's why that's made herself ready. And that she spent time in the word of God. We're not worried about the flesh. I'm not worried about my flesh. I done read in the book of Sodom. All is that it's a vexation. To the spirit what we see with the natural eyes. But the only thing is going to matter is what we lay up in heaven. And the word and that's innocence, what's going to matter? And Brother Sam, he ain't going to look at you and say, well, you was faithful to your church. I'm going to let you in. No, sir. I tell you what, they got these DNA about us. And they'll take our fingerprint. Ain't nobody got a fingerprint like you. They can do away with you. And nobody will never know where you're at for 20 years. But they the DNA about you. That they can do on you. And they can say, this is uh, Sam Markham. Uh, just like the church. Uh, and oh. the DNA about us. Uh, oh. What is our DNA? Oh. Oh. before he come back. But when that trumpet sounds, guess what? If our name is written in the land of the life, when he tells, when he makes that sound, we're coming out of the ground. He ain't going to leave a one in there. That's why his DNA, no sir. No sir. 
Come on. They can fingerprint you, Brother Jeff. And they can tell you exactly who you are. Sometimes we identify by. I, I was thinking, you know, gang members, some of them are identified by tattoos, by different markets. You know what the church is identified by? The Word of God. That's what the church is identified by. That's what the devil sees when he sees you and me. He ain't worrying about my name being Bo Adams. No, sir. That don't worry him a bit. That don't do, that don't do nothing to him. When he sees me, he's just looking and seeing that the blood of the Almighty God is applied to my life. If I've got the blood of Jesus applied to my life, and I've got the Word in me, and I've been born again of the spirit and that draws attention to the devil and that's why Peter and James and all the apostles was hated at churches because they look like the word and when Peter spoke you know what he spoke like he spoke like the word of God and the devil knows what we talk about tomorrow he ain't worried about the church that's speaking about and that's a fight against his name and no sir he ain't worried about that church because he knows he's already got it but the church it looks like him. And that's the one that he's after. And that's what he's the one name. He don't want the word of God to be preached in this hour. He knows it's just about over with. He knows he's got but just a short time to work. And he's working overtime on the church. The church tonight, we better get our place and burn it in the word. And we better be looking like his word. And because any time, just any day, he could come back and get his church out of here. I'm a looking for him at you. Yes, sir, brother dear. I'll get up in the morning and I say, well, Lord, this could be the day. Help me to stay ready. Help me to look like you word. Help me to act and talk like you word. And because, church, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Believe it or not, it's going to happen. Ready or not, it's going to take place. Whether you're ready or not, it's going to happen someday. If you're not ready, if you're not looking like the Word and got the Word applied to your life, you not to wake up and the church is going to be gone. You talk about trouble then. You talk about hell then. Then that's when hell is going to really be turned loose on the Gentile people. Once that door is shut, that's all over for the Gentiles, Brother Sam. And you know where he's going? He's going back to his people. And there be no more Gentiles saved. But church tonight, we better know that our name is written in the land book of life. He said, don't rejoice because the devils are subject to you. But he said, rejoice because your name is written in the land book of life. Before my name can be written, I'm going to have to look like the word says. Brother Sam, they ain't a set of rules for you. They ain't a set of rules for me. What one? What one takes is going to take for the other. And the old saying is, one size fits all. If you've got to be born again, and then I've got to be born again too. If it's going to take the word to get you in, it's going to take the word to get me in. I trust tonight, we need to come together and let's have a move of God in our life. I can read with Peter, James, and John, and all these great men. They had a move of God in their life. This is our day. They're then going on. This is mine, your day. And I have a move of God. I want to look like the word, don't you? I want to talk like the word. I want my action to be like the word, Brother David. Yes, God. Yes. <coughs> take the word again. Yes, sir. The word of God. Take the flesh, not your blood, and not your We worried about looking like kids. That's what we worried about, Brother Billy. We ain't worried about looking like the word. We want somebody to say, oh, look how good they look. I like your little red polka dot dress. I like your blue shoes. But church tonight, I want to look like the world. Don't you? Yeah, yeah. This world don't have nothing I desire. They ain't one thing that I desire in this world, Brother Jeff. They ain't one thing that I need in this world. I don't realize what I need is more of the Word of God. In my life, that's what I need. I need more of the Word than I do anything. Job said that he desired the Word of his mouth more than 
than his necessary food. I tell you tonight, we want to hold on to the world with one hand and think that we can serve God with the other. He said this. He said a fountain can't produce a sweet water and bitter water at the same time. No, sure it can't. You know what you and I are supposed to be like? We're supposed to be a brain of poor. The fruits, and we not? But I can see in the day they show many a bring them forth and the adulteries and fornication and all of this and they get up and say I'm going to fly away well I tell you one thing if we're not living by the word of God we ain't going to find no word no. we better get our minds in the word we better have our spirit around with God because church listen and there's going to be a trumpet sound and if you're not ready you ain't going to find no words but I'm going to look for him at you and brother David I want to love my brothers. I want to love my sisters. I want to lift them up. I don't want to be like that high priest. When he come out of the temple, he looked and he seen somebody that was laying and that needed help. You know what he done? He turned his head and went right on by. How many people seen you down? And they went right on by. And he said, surely, and they will give me a word. But that lets me know how much they love him. But I thank God tonight that God has got a church. He's got a body of people. And that we'll bind together and help other ones that need help. Amen. I thought when my baby died, I thought about all the people that come together and helped us. I told my wife, I said, I said, you know what? We may not see everybody every day, but when trouble comes, and when they're down and out, then that's when they show up. And ain't that what God is like? You know what they call Lazarus was dead, but Jesus knew that he wasn't dead. When he come up to the tomb, they said, Lord, if you'd have been here, he would not have died. And Jesus said this. He said he will live again. And they said, yeah, Lord, I know that you raised, uh, we raised again in the resurrection. He said, I am the resurrection. I am the no lie. And Jesus spoke the word. And guess what? The death had to give up Lazarus. And tell me that we don't serve a God and that knows everything about us. And David said, he knows my uprising. He knows my down settings. He knows my thoughts afar off. And trust tonight. And we want to look like the flesh wants us to look. Brother Jeff, my wife's got a mirror. <coughs> she got a mirror. I'm trying to hush. She got a mirror. One side is big, makes bigger. One side's just plain. You can turn, look into it, and you can see things normal. You know what I mean? But you can turn that thing over <coughs> and look into it, and everything's bigger. Right. But you know the best thing about it? It's got something else about it. It's got a light on it. Yeah. Ain't he the light? Yeah. That's what we need the light yeah. in our life. You can turn that light on, Brother Jeff, on that big uh, on that big side that shows up everything. Uh, and listen, uh, you'll see things that you never thought that you had in your face. Uh, I tell you, you know what? Uh, we need the light on, don't we? Uh, we need to come out of darkness uh, into his marvelous fire. Uh, and see what's wrong with us. Uh, church, I want to move with God. Uh, but there's something that's stopping the move with God. Uh, Lord, shine your light on me. Uh, let me see what it is. Uh, help me, Lord, allow you uh, to take me to the the word uh, and clean me up. Uh, we're washed by the water by the word, church. Uh, and the world wants to cast that devil, but they don't want the word. Brother Jeff ain't a punny. They want to look like Hollywood. Uh -huh. They want to talk a little bit about this one and talk a little bit about that one. And they want to go down the road and get them a ship here and a ship there. And they want to go into the next town and lust after some man or some woman there. But when Sunday nights come and Wednesday nights or whatever, Thursday nights, they want to have a move of car. What's wrong? We're deceiving our own self. I'm serving God. And that sees me if I was in New York. And Brother David, if God sees me, and no matter where I'm at, and David said, if I take wings and fly into the most other parts of the earth. Uh, he is there, didn't he? Know? I don't care where you go, you can't hide from God. And the Bible says, uh, is there anything hid from him? No, sir. Uh, there ain't nothing hid from God. Uh, he knows everything about us. Uh, so we might as well come clean and say, God, uh, help me to look like your word. That's what I want to look like, don't you? Yes. I want to look like his word. I want to be identified by his word. 
His word is what's going to take us through, Brother David. Amen. Yeah. It's going to take His word to get us through. The Bible said, I know my sheep, didn't he? I know my sheep. And he said this, I am no one of my sheep. God, listen, what's in us is going to come out. The Bible says, some men's sins go beforehand into judgment, and some men's follow after them. So that tells me one way or another, it's going to catch up with me. And it's going to catch up with the church. We can't hide nothing from God. I, I don't know why I'm saying that, but listen. I, and God knows everything about us, don't he? If I don't live a good, clean life at my home, then why should I come here and act like something that I'm not? Brother David, who am I deceiving? Nobody but my own self. And I serve a God. He knows if my mind, he knows if my heart is like his word or not. A church tonight, he knows everyone that is his. He ain't lost a one. He ain't about to lose a one. I want to be part of this church, don't you? Do you want to be part of this church? How many wants to look like his word? How many wants to decrease that he may increase in our life? How many wants to put off the old man with his deeds? How many wants to cleave to his word? I wonder how many God, God really loves him more than anything in their life. I love my wife. I do anything for her. But I've got to love him more than anything. Brother David, I always say this. I admire you. And there's been a lot of times I know you I can't come, but you come anyway. And that's what God wants in the church. If I only went because my wife went, then I wouldn't be no good to God. And God wants somebody to love him one on one. And somebody that would put their whole heart in the love and the praise and worship of him. I don't believe that David fell of the chill bumps when he danced to you. But you know what? If we don't feel it, we won't do nothing. What good is that uh, when God sees you a dancing uh, and a praising Him uh, and all hell is against you? Uh, and that's just when God honors. Uh, but when you're feeling upon you, then you're dancing, then God is blessing you. That when we can bless God and don't feel nothing, that's when God honors the mother. Amen. That's when He really honors, I believe, Brother David, when we can praise and worship God. And when we fought the power of hell all day, when the devil told us that we want nothing. But I thank God that I'm something, ain't you in God? I'm glad that I know uh, that my name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. A uh, uh, church, the Bible says this. David said, the word is a lamp unto my feet uh, and a light unto my path. Uh, so that lets me know I've got to have the word of God. Uh, it's going to take the word of God to get us out of here, Brother David. Uh, uh, singing is good, yeah, shouting is good. Uh, uh, speaking in tongues is good. Uh, but when the word comes forth, uh, uh, that's going to tell us what we are, ain't it? Uh, yes. I can jump and speak in tongues with 30 minutes, but when the word hits the floor, if I saw upon the word of God, then that lets me know exactly what I am. And it's you, I'd rather have somebody to preach me the word of God, and I would prophesy to me what my flesh wants to hear. You know, that's what that's what the flesh wants to hear. The flesh wants to hear prophecy. He'd rather hear a prophecy than it would. The word of God was. Come on. When old John the Baptist come out of the wilderness seeking locusts and wild honey, he looked at him, he said, You generation of vipers, didn't you? Yes. I wonder what would happen today if we done that. Yeah. I bet you know what? Uh, they would throw us out the door one day and say, You're not here coming back here no more. Uh, uh, you stinking, rotten looking thing, you. Uh, I don't believe that he looked like we did, David. I believe that he uh, uh, kind of looked like a wild man, don't you? Uh, I believe that, that you could probably, uh, he didn't smell like a bottle of polo. Uh, uh, but you know what? Uh, he was a looking like a word. That's one thing. Uh, that he was a looking like. That's what the devil don't like. Uh, he don't like the word of God to go forth in this hour that we in. Right. Do you love the Lord tonight? Amen. 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 Give me my hand. Can we get a song and just open up the Maybe somebody wants to pray. I don't know. If you don't want to pray, you don't have to. You might have enough to keep you. But I'll tell you what, it's going to take everything that we can to get today to make it. We don't know what tomorrow